Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create animated Google Keep headers using Canva. So let's get started. Google Keep is a note-taking app offered by Google that helps with productivity and organization. It's very important to keep your Google Keep organized because whenever you're looking for a certain note, if you're saved several notes there, you can just find it easily. The way I organize my Google Keep is by using color codes, as you can see here, the background color, and also headers because these headers can help me find my notes easily. How to create these awesome headers? Let's check it together on Canva. First of all, we have to go to create a design. And then we're going to choose a custom size. And here you have several options. There are two sizes for Google Keep that I love using. The first one is using 3000 pixels by 500. And this will create a Google Keep header that's thin. Or there's another option, which is creating six by two inches as the one I used in these headers. For this one, I'm going to use the 3000 by 500 pixels. And then later, I'll show you the difference whenever I apply it to my notes. So let's press on Create New Design. And now it's time to start designing our Google Keep header. Let's first give our design a name. So I'm going to call it Animated Google Keep Header. And please note that it works also on any Google Keep Header. It doesn't have to be animated, and I'm going to show you this. First of all, we're going to choose a background color for our header. It's up to you. You can either choose a solid background by choosing the color here. So if you want it, let's say gray, you can choose a solid background. Or there's another option if you want is choosing a texture background. The way I find nice texture backgrounds is going to elements and looking for a certain texture. So let's say I'm going to say white texture. Look in the photos and then feel free to choose any of the textures here. So let's say I'm going to choose this. I right click on it and then I'm going to apply it as a background. And in this case, you chose the background of your header. Now it's time to add the title and the animated part to our header. Let's start first by adding the title. I'm going to go to text and then press on add a text box. Let's type, for example, reminders. It depends on what you are saving on Google Keep. Let's make it bigger. So the title is ready. I'm going to move it to this side just to make sure I have space in order to add the animated part here. You can also choose the, choose the font. Just make sure you choose a certain font that looks nice as a header. So I'm going to go with this one right now. The title is ready to be used. Now let's use an animated part. So I'm going to go to elements again. And let's look for something. Let's say I'm going to say reminder. I'm going to look for a certain animated part that can be used as a reminder or next to the reminder title. So this one is nice. I'm going to select it and then add it here. What if you don't get an animated one? There are two ways in order to look for animated clip arts or animated pictures or images on, on Canva. First of all, either write animated before what you're looking for. So I said animated reminder. And as you can see, if I go to graphics, I can see a lot of animations related to reminders. Or if you keep on reminder, just reminder, you can go to the filter here and go select animated as an animation and press on apply filters. And then you get some animations related to what you are looking for. So now I have my header ready, the background, the animated part, and 
the title itself. Also, by the way, note that if you don't want an animated Google Keep header, you can save this animated header or animated design as an image, or if you want simply create one without an animation. So I'm gonna go back to reminder, let me remove the animated filter. And instead of choosing an animated one, I'm gonna choose just a static graphic and add it here. In this case, our headers are ready to be used. Let's check now how to save these headers, whether it's an animated one or just a picture. And later we'll check how to apply it or add it to Google Keep. Let's save our header now. Just go to share and then download. Make sure that the file type for the animated Google header must be a GIF and then select the page because I need the first one, which is the animated one. Press on done and then just press download. The download will start. Just choose a location where you want to save your animated Google Keep header and then we will check how to use it or apply it on Google Keep. Before I add this image to my Google Keep notes, I'm going to show you how to save it as a static image and not as an animated header. So you just go to share, you press on download again. And in this case, instead of choosing the GIF or the GIF, the debate will never end, you can choose one of these two options, either a JPG or a PNG picture and save it on your computer. Now let's go to Google Keep. I have here a note that's ready just to apply uh, or add to it the header. You can add a header to your note by pressing here on add image or just select the note itself and press on add image. Then select the image that you want to use, press open. And as you can see, it's applied to your notes and it's animated. Once you press close, you got a header. The difference I was talking about at the beginning of the video in the dimensions of the header is, as you can see here, this is a, let's say, a thin one. This is a small header, while this one is a bigger header. I prefer using the bigger header because it's easier for me to see all of these titles. Again, this is the dimensions of this one is 6 by 2 inches, while this one is 3,000 by 500 pixels. And that's it. You have a very nice and organized Google Keep. And just for extra information for you, if you want to change the background for your note, just go here to background options and choose either a solid color or one of the pictures that are available here. Let me show you. So I just changed the background of the notes. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to press on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos.